a doctor or a, or a dentist or something, or you went to the dentist or the doctor like very recently, something. Because I kept on seeing like the the doctor or a dentist appointment room. Is that you? What happened? Okay. Yeah, and um, yeah. Okay, but did you go to the dentist or anything? Yes, I did, and um, I actually had a long appointment, which they changed to a short appointment, and um, things that need to be done hasn't done. Okay. I've been praying for healing on my teeth so that I don't, because I don't have like a medical aid. Okay. My situation is. Okay. Um, Can you please come forward? You can just come and stand here. Okay. Um, are you married? Or okay, you separated here. Yeah. But do you do you have boys? Two boys. Okay. So I saw the two boys. I can show you my notes. Literally, I'm just trying to recall this. I saw the two boys. I saw the eldest one. That the Lord is calling him back to him, into a closer relationship with him. The eldest boy is what I see. I, I don't know how old they are, but I felt like uh, the one is still in school and the, the one might just be finished with school. Is that correct? Yeah, okay. Specifically the eldest one. I feel like the Lord really has his eyes upon him. And I also see him, is he good with his hands? Commercial diving. But they do a lot of physical stuff, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it's not an office job. No, no. Okay. No, you can't, you can't okay. And then um, I'll also try this. I just initially I saw a name, but it's like with a V. Um, your surname is Fisser. Wow. Okay. Volna. But you spell it with the W. Yeah, I saw the V. Okay, so you're the right person. Praise God. Okay. <laughs> And um, what I saw, the Lord's going to do in your life. He is going to heal your, whatever is happening in your mouth. He is going to heal that. That's what I saw. But just as you are going to the dentist to get things fixed, okay? I saw the Lord fixing things in your life as well. Specifically, in the department of finances. Okay. Now, I don't want to be one of those popular guys that just say, Yo, the Lord's going to bless you. I really saw the Lord restoring your finances in this season. Okay. And I saw the Lord restoring things that was taken away from me the past few years. Like, you know that, that the, the valley I talked about of Psalm 23, of the shadow of death. I really feel like you went through a valley in the past few years. And that it's really been a tough time. And the Lord is going to restore that. Now, I believe it's not going to take long. I believe in the next year, the Lord's going to do tremendous things in your life. And also in your living situation, He's going to do something there for you. I really see a restoration that's going to take place. I'm going to pray for you, for healing. But also, if you do have to go for that operation or procedure, that the Lord will provide for it. And that's just what I see. And the Lord's hand is upon your eldest son. For protection, but also to draw him in spiritually closer to me. I want to pray for you. So just hold your hands up. Just focus on the Lord. Is it Volna? So Father, we thank you for Volna. Jesus, I thank you that you have singled her out in a whole room, Father. That you know exactly, Father, what's going on in her life. Father, I thank you for her life. I thank you, Father, for provision. But Father, we just pray complete healing, Father, in her body, in her jaw, and in her teeth. Complete healing. Father, all pain must leave in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for a mighty testimony to come from this woman. That she will go home a new person. A new person. Thank you, Father, for the work that you're doing in her life. The physical work and the work in her heart. Thank you for that, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So 
I don't know you. I've never met you. You've never spoken. Okay. So the Lord knows you. Okay. Many times people don't believe always. Not you. Other people. They think that you research people or something. But the Lord knows you. The Lord knows you.